Good morning. I see you coming in. Bless you this morning. Man, we thank God for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. God is good. Amen. We thank God for the early morning prayer. And trust that God has been good to all of you so far this week. I know God has blessed me and allowed me to make it to this day, to this morning so far amen i'm looking forward to what god is going to do the rest of this day and the rest of the week um, looking forward to his blessings amen to his way being made as he always does he's faithful god is always faithful and that's one thing i love about him his faithfulness his faithfulness will never go away he's the same yesterday today and forevermore I love God for who he is. Amen. This morning, I just wanted to start off with a scripture from Psalms 27. Psalms 27, verse 4 and 5. And it reads, <clears throat> One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Amen. Let the Lord have blessed to the reading of his word. Amen. One thing that I desire, the writer said. What is the one thing that you desire of the Lord this morning? Where is it in God that you want to be? What is it that you need God to do for you? What is it that you need God to do for others in your life? You need to think about the one thing that you desire from the Lord. And as we go into prayer, I want you to focus on that. One thing that I desire of the Lord. And man, I mean, there's always something that we need, something that we desire of the Lord. It doesn't always have to be a monetary thing or physical thing, car or house, but sometimes it, it might be peace Sometimes you, you just you just want to have that sense of safety and know that God is God is able. Or it might be a thing that you desire. Maybe it's something that you desire of a family member. Something that you are aware of, some trouble, something that you just desire and that you using everything that you have to to, to pray for that one thing for God to do. So as we go into prayer this morning, I want you to think about one thing that you desire of the Lord. Amen. Because God is able. He's able to give it. He's able to give you peace. He's able to give you comfort. Amen. He's able to give you a peace of mind. Amen. He's able to deliver. If it's a sickness, if it's something that's just going on in your life that you want it resolved. This is the time to meditate and think on those things. That one thing 
that you desire from the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We glorify you. God, we magnify your name this morning. There is none like you, O oh God. And we come before you this morning to bless your name and to acknowledge you as the true and living God, the God that sits high and looks low, the God that created all things, and God, you even created us. You created mankind, and you created us in your image. And we just thank you and we glorify you for your creation, God. We thank you for the world that you have put us in and, and the things that you've given us on this earth, in this world. How you have blessed us and you've provided all things for us, God. And Lord, we thank you and we glorify you. Lord, we thank you for our lives. Lord, we thank you for the things that you have seen us through. So many experiences all of us have had in our lives from the time we were children. Hardships, things that we can think of that we've been through. Things that we've overcome over the years. And God, we thank you because it was your plan that we be here today. Because if not, you could have taken us out a long time ago. But God, you allowed us to go see through all the things that we've experienced in our life. Things that we thought we would never make it through. There were times in our lives we thought it was the end, but God, you made a way for us and you brought us through it, God. Time and time again, seasons of our lives, as we went through our decades of our lives, God, you saw us through each and every situation, God. Times when we didn't know you, God, you were yet watching out for us. And then you brought us onto salvation to be who we are and here today, God, and we thank you. But Lord, you made a way for us, God. Through the tough times, through the hardship, through the situations of life, oh God, you may allowed us to make it. There were things that we prayed for in the past, situations that we've seen that we didn't think that we would ever come out of. But God, you heard our prayer and you gave us the peace and the joy. You gave us <clears throat> the deliverance that we needed. And now we are here today this morning, excuse me, <clears throat> in this morning, God, we thank you and we glorify you. But Lord, we have desires of you this morning. Each of us have something that that is in our hearts and God, sometimes only you know. But Lord, we desire some things of you, God. Perhaps there's some that still des desire a healing in their body. Maybe they desire some situation they've been dealing with for a long time. And God, they're looking for a resolution, God. So we're praying this morning for the one thing that we desire of you, O oh God. The one thing that is always on our mind. The one thing that's always in our hearts, O oh God. The thing that we think about daily. Uh, the thing that is always in our mind. The thing that we can't let loose, God. The thing that we've been praying for on and off for a long time, God, that one thing that we desire of you, God. God, we ask that you bless us this morning, God, as we inquire on that one thing. Lord, we ask that you do it. Lord, we ask that you deliver. Maybe someone is still in bondage in something, still overcome by a fault, still overcome by something, or perhaps, oh God, maybe it's a person that they're overwhelmed by, oh God. Maybe something that someone has done to them in the past, oh God. And they wanna be free from that, perhaps free from guilt, perhaps free from the things that were said. God, only you know, oh Lord. God, maybe it's a loved one that is on our hearts, oh God, that we're constantly praying for. They are in situations, God, that we don't have the ability to do anything about. But God, you know, and you are able, God, to help that person, to help that loved one, to help that friend, to help that coworker, 
Lord, whoever it may be, that person, oh God, that some of us may have that constantly praying for, praying for their deliverance, praying for their heart to be opened up, praying for salvation to be in their life. Lord, whatever the situation, you know, oh God. And Lord, we know that you are able to do it, God. We know that you are able to fix it. You are able to solve all problems and resolve all things, God. We thank you. Perhaps it's forgiveness that we need in our hearts and our minds, God. And we just thank you and we glorify you. Lord, help us to let and release some things in our life. Things that we've been holding on to. That one thing that we've been holding on to that seems elusive. That one thing that seems hard to let go, to overcome. The thing that we think about the most, God. We ask this morning that you give us strength, oh God to overcome that one thing, to release it from us in the name of Jesus. To release the pressure, oh God, release the pain, whatever it may be, oh God. Lord, we thank you and we glorify you. Lord, whatever the one desire that we have, oh God, maybe some need a financial blessing from you, Lord. Lord, maybe some have a desire to go higher in you, oh God, and want more of you, oh God. I want to experience your love and your your peace, oh God. I want to experience a higher level of anointing. God, whatever that one thing is, Lord, we stand before you this morning praying for that one desire, a desire of peace and comfort and safety. God, you are able. Lord, maybe some desire just to be provided for, oh God, just to have a peace of mind that all things will be well in their life and in when it's concerning provision, place to stay, food, uh, medical needs, God, insurance, whatever it may be, oh God, in their health, oh God, this one thing that we pray for, that we desire, oh God, we thank you and we glorify you because you're worthy, God. You're worthy this morning, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We know you're able, God. You're able to do it, God. Even the hard things, God, you're able to do it. Lord, the hard struggles, the hard situations, God, you're able to resolve it, God. And we come before you, God, to resolve those things, Lord. Lord, there's perhaps someone that we are interceding for, oh God. They may be sick, oh God. They may have troubles, Lord, and we have promised to put their name up in prayer, oh God, that one desire for that one person, of those persons, God, we pray for them right now, God, in the name of Jesus, whatever their situation, God, we ask that you deliver them and help them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, those people that are on our hearts and our minds, God. Deliver them from their problems and their situations, God. Maybe they need a healing or a deliverance, oh God. Or maybe they need a financial breakthrough. Or maybe they have situations with their loved ones and their children, God. Lord, we're interceding for someone else, God, because you are able to do it, God. We know that you reign over all of us, God. No matter who we are, you loved all of us and you sent your son for all mankind. And God, we thank you and we glorify you. Hallelujah. We pray for peace in our homes, peace on our jobs, peace in our neighborhoods. Lord, give us comfort and assurity that no matter what we face in this world, the situations that come, the things that we're unsure of, that we don't know, God, that is coming. Lord, we know that you are yet God and you are in control. And Lord, we ask that you give us that peace of mind to know that you will see us through it, oh God. Lord, whatever it is to come our way on this day, God, we ask that you bless your people, oh God, and give us the strength and the mind to persevere this day. Whatever troubles may come or whatever the day may hold, oh God, hold, oh God we ask that you give us strength to survive it and to go through. And God, we pray for victory, victory over all things, God. Victory over our, 
our situations, victory over, over complexities of life, oh God, victory over anything that we feel is trying to defeat us and overcome us, God. Lord, we, we pray for victory in the name of Jesus. Give us victory this day, this week, oh God, this month, oh God. Give us victory in the name of Jesus. Give us victory as we move into this next season of our life, this next year of our life, God. The things that are to come this year, oh God. Lord, we just thank you. That, and know that you are able to see us through it, God. And Lord, we just continue to pray for those that are sick and afflicted. We continue to pray for Sister Angie Mayo as she uh, continues to recover. We pray for our bishop as he recovers, our first lady, and to all the saints that are out there, God. We pray for them, Lord, that you continue to bless them and make a way for them. Continue to guide them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And keep us, God. Keep us in your will. Keep us in your way, O oh God. Lord, help us not to stray away from you, O oh God. Because we are going through some complex times. We are living in the last and evil days. And Lord, we need you more than ever, O oh God. We need you to keep us. Lord, you, we need you to help us be aware and mindful of the things that are happening in this world. Because we know that you are soon to come, God. And we thank you. And we glorify you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How many know that in the name of Jesus, all things can change? How many know that in the name of Jesus, situations can be resolved? All you have to do is call on the name of Jesus for that one thing that we desire of you, O oh God. We call on your name. We call on your name, Jesus. Jesus, we call on you this morning. Lord, we are not afraid, neither are we ashamed of that name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray this morning. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you make a way. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you give us the deliverance, the thing that we desire, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is nothing better, nothing higher than that name. For it is that name which all men, mankind are saved in the name of Jesus. We ask that you do it for us today, O oh God. Lord, whatever our desires are in the name of Jesus, we ask that you touch our bodies, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Touch our hearts, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch our minds in the name of Jesus. Give us peace, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless you this morning and we glorify you and we magnify your name. Lord, we lift you up, oh God. We lift you up and we praise you this morning, oh God. We praise you this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. We praise you because we know that you're going to do it, oh God. We praise you because we know you're able, Lord. We praise you because we have come before you with requests, request, oh God. And we thank you and we glorify you. We know that you are able. You are able, God, to do it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are able, God. Bless us today, God. Bless us as we go to our jobs. Bless us as we go to carry out our tasks for today, oh God. Keep us and give us strength, oh God. Give us strength to make it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we glorify you, God. And we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We thank you and we praise you, Lord. And we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we believe that you can do these things that we have requested and that we have prayed for this morning. We thank you and we glorify you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give us peace, God. Give us peace, God. There are so many things that come to distract us, to bring us doubt. But Lord, we pray for peace. Peace in your safety. Peace in you, O oh God. Peace that we can dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. 
that we can be around you and dwell with you. And Lord, that you dwell with us, that your spirit be with us, the spirit be in our homes and allow your spirit to guide us at every moment of our lives. Lord, whenever we have challenges or situations or, or questions, oh God, Lord, we pray that your Holy Ghost will give us the peace and give us the mindset and help us through our situations, guide us and lead us, God. And thank you and we glorify you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for a turnaround, oh God. Lord, sometimes we see things going in one direction that we're afraid of or we don't like, oh God. There's things that we see going in a certain way, but God, you are God of the turnaround. Lord, we ask that you turn the situation around, God, in the name of Jesus. Whatever that situation may be for your people, oh God, we ask that you turn it around in the name of Jesus. The thing that would happen, God, we ask that you turn it around in the name of Jesus. The thing that the enemy taunts us with, the thing that the enemy wants to destroy us, oh God, we rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. We resist him, oh God. We resist the devil in our lives in the name of Jesus. The Bible said resist the devil and he will flee. And God, we resist him right now because we stand for you and your righteousness, oh God, in our lives. We resist the devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify you. We glorify you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, because we know you're going to do it. Thank you, God, because we are confident in you. And we stand in faith knowing that you are able to do all things, no matter how hard it is. There was a question asked, is there anything too hard for God? And the question is, no, God, there is nothing too hard for you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. And we glorify your name this morning. We glorify you, Lord, that you will see us through. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Let us all say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank and praise God for this opportunity this morning to come before God in prayer. And I hope that you think about the things that we prayed for this morning. And the, the theme of this prayer this morning was one thing that I desire of the Lord, as David said in Psalms 27. Verse four, one thing that I have desired of the Lord. Continue to think about that one thing that you need from God, that one desire that you have, and know that God is able to do it. God is able to meet you and get you there. You know, and we just thank God for all things. Amen. God bless you this morning. I pray that all things are go well in your day and that God bless you and that God keep you no matter what the challenge may come, have faith in God and know that he is able. Know that he can fix it. Amen. Well, you're going, uh, we'll be back this evening at 7 o'clock for Bible study. Amen. Please uh, tune in at 7 o'clock tonight as I come before you again to teach the word of God. And we ask that God bless us and keep us. And you all have a blessed day. And go and the peace of the Lord. God bless you.